Hey guys, my name is Nikki. I want to welcome you here to Carrie Grace. All right, so today is day number six, and this is my journey through the Fly Ladies 31 Baby Steps, and I'm just taking you guys with me. A lot of you are joining me, which I am so thrilled about. So for those of you that are joining me, thank you. Thank you for doing this with me. It's nice to know that I'm not the only one. All right, so today is day number six, and we are going to tackle our first hot spot. What is a hot spot? A hot spot is that place in your house where everybody dumps all the stuff. It attracts everything. It attracts paper. It attracts random things. You know this what I'm talking about. Everybody's got one or two or three. That's what we're going to do. We're going to set our timer and we're going to work for two minutes to get as much of it cleaned up as we can. Now, will we be able to finish the whole hot spot in two minutes? It depends. I might be able to. Mine isn't crazy overwhelming, but some of you may have a hot spot that's huge because it has been a hot spot for a long time and you haven't tackled it. That's okay. We're going to give it two minutes. Whatever we don't finish, just stop. You can come back to it tomorrow and give it another two minutes. You don't finish the next day. That's okay. Keep at it and eventually that spot will be completely cleaned, everything will be put away, everything will be in its place, and then at that point, you can spend two minutes every day working on another hot spot, or maybe it takes you two minutes every day to just get it back to where it needs to be. The idea is that we just keep working at it, we don't have to spend a lot of time, but our little minutes are gonna add up and create something really nice. They're gonna create a clean area. It might be today, it might be eventually. All right, so my hot spot, I have a few. My main hot spot is actually not dirty right now, but my main hot spot is in my kitchen. I have a random long counter, everybody pile stuff. It's usually full of homeschool papers. Sometimes it's receipts. My planner's usually there, stack of pens, just lots of things we use for homeschool. Sometimes it's a football helmet. Sometimes it is all the things I bought at the store and left out and didn't put away. Today though, my hot spot that I need to tackle is in my laundry room. Now let me give you a real quick little disclaimer. My laundry room does not actually have a washer and dryer in it right now. It's a room that we are going to eventually have as a full functioning laundry room. There's no plumbing in it right now, but we still use it for a laundry room other than we do not wash and dry clothes in there. So I've got a counter in there and it is piled up with a bunch of random stuff. So I'm gonna set my set so I'm going to set my timer for two minutes. I'm going to take you in there with me and we're going to go clean up this hot spot. All right, guys. So here is the counter in my laundry room. You can see right here, I've got some paper. Those are homeschool papers. There are random dog toys that need to be put away. There are some supplies left over from when I painted, why they're still in here. I'm not 100% sure. I've got a random picture frame from a project. I've got clean rags that need to be folded and put away. And then I've also got a stack of bowls. Um, I don't even know. I just need to put them in the kitchen and put them away. So I am going to set my timer for two minutes and then I'm going to tackle this very quickly.
All right, guys, so my timer just went off. I didn't get completely done, but the counter is actually cleared off. I probably should have taken a little bit less time with the whole paper towel thing because that kind of took me a minute and it really shouldn't have. But the kid, the counter is now clear. All of the rags are in the basket. So when it's time for me to fold laundry, I can just fold those really quick, but I can actually fold laundry at this counter now, which is a huge win. And sorry about the crazy shadows and sunspots that are all over my face. I didn't realize it in the first part of this video. I see it now, but the sun is just shifting and not a whole lot I can do about it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it gives you some motivation to go tackle a hot spot in your home. All right, so this is day six. What are we gonna keep doing? Every night before we go to bed, we're gonna make sure that our shink is shiny. Shink is shiny. No, we're going to make sure that our sink is shiny. That is a mouthful. The other thing we're gonna do is every morning when we get up, we're gonna get dressed to shoes. These two things, we're gonna keep building on them. Today, we're adding a hot spot. So that's something that we can do in our evening routine. That's when I'll be doing mine. Still laughing at this spot across my head. That looks crazy. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it motivates you to get some things done and to keep sticking with your routines. We're gonna keep baby stepping. We're gonna keep trusting the process and we're just gonna keep doing a little bit of time so that eventually, things are gonna be moving in the direction that we want them to be. But because we started slow, we're gonna have a really good foundation. All right, I think I've said this again. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and not already subscribed, please consider hitting that red subscribe button down below. Also check the bell. When you click the bell, it sends you a notification every time I have a new video come out. That way you don't miss anything. I am starting to do some lives maybe once a week. So I don't always know exactly when those are gonna be, but if you have your bell checked, it will send you a notification when I go live. That way, if that's something you wanna check out, you don't miss it. All right guys, I will see you tomorrow for day number seven. <music>